Good morning. Good morning, teacher Rachel Elka. How are you? Fine, thank you, teacher Rachel Elka. How do you do? Fine, thank you, teacher Rachel Elka. Well, I'm also good, I'm also fine. Are you okay today? Yes. Yes, and you can have your seat. Thank you, teacher Rachel Elka. Uh -huh. Today is day 22 on Wednesday. I want us to learn English. I want us to learn what? English. And our strand today, we are, uh, we are going to cover about grammar activities. That is our strand. And our sum strand today, uh, it's about parts of speech. And we have regular, uh, I want us to learn about nouns. Okay, that is our sum strand. And aha, uh -huh. who knows what are nouns? Somebody? Yeah, Gloria, what is noun? Can you be audible? I want to hear you from here. What is a noun? Anemiwa. Clap for her. A nice one. A better one. And a sweet one. Well, well, well. We have a noun is a naming word. So, types of noun. Who knows? Uh huh. Yeah, a name of a thing. Wait, one minute. A name of a thing. Uh huh. Animal. An animal. Uh huh. Joy. Person. Mm-hmm. Natasha? Place. Good. So, a noun is a name of a thing, an animal, person, or place. Something that we have left out, somebody? Have we left, have we left out anything? No. Yeah, so that is the explanation of a noun. So today, I want us to learn what are the, the types of noun. For one, we have regular nouns. Say regular nouns. Regular nouns. Regular nouns. Regular nouns. So a regular noun, these are nouns that when we uh, in nouns we talk of singular and singular and plural. now these are the nouns that we come in uh, when we come to write in plural we just and we and only s we and only s in the approval we aren't S. S. who has any example or can I give mine so that you give me yours uh, example we have a boy what is the plural of the one boy Joel boy good Boys. Let me write it capital. Boys. Mm -hmm. An example of a noun that we add S in plural. Girls. In singular, we have girl. And then? Girls. And then what? Girls. Girls. I have something else. Another example? Yes. Ball? Ball? Ball. Aha, uh -huh. another one? Cap. Cap? Aha. Uh -huh. We have, let me write those ones. We have cap, cups, 
and then bun. Balls. Mm-hmm. Teacher. Teachers. Uh huh. Word. Word. Mm-hmm. Fruits. Fruit. Fruit. All those are examples. Yeah, we have not yet exhausted. No, that one we add es. I need. Ones that we add S in plural. The nouns that we only add S in plural. Yeah, that is the last one. Food, food, yeah. So, uh huh. Uh-huh. So, those are the ones that uh, we call, those are the nouns that we call regular nouns. We call them. Regular nouns. And all those we have given are examples of regular nouns. So the next one, I want us to cover about irregular. Irregular nouns. Why are you not talking? Irregular nouns. Now in irregular nouns, we have many types uh, because there are ones that, uh, that uh, the one that we were given here by Andy, it is class classes. In that one, we are not adding S, we are adding ES. Other ones we add, e, in other ones we add ES. In other nouns, we change the spelling of the whole word and then we change it so that it can be true. Okay, what am I talking about? Mm-hmm. We have nouns that end with S, X, CH, that is the one, CH, sound CH, not the word. If the word is a noun, ends. That is not the feeling of the word, ends. In these in these nouns we add we add e s in plural. So like now let me give that example of Ali. We have class. Do you see this noun is adding with S? Can you see that? Yes. That is why we are adding ES. ES, isn't it? Yes. The next word is box. What is the plural word box? Boxes. Clap for her. A nice one. A better one. And a sweet one. Congratulations. You see this word is adding with X, isn't it? Like we have written here. If a noun ends in S, S, or SH, that noun, we add ES in plural. Okay? Another example. Tiffany? Mango, that one ends with O. Do we have any exemption? That one ends with O. Mm-hmm. We have mango. Mango? Mango. We add it yes. at the end. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, Bahati. Chat. Eh? Chat. Charge. 
you have an example charge then charges good another example ali De desk do you mean desk desk that one falls here because the, the plural of the word desk is yeah that one falls in here okay and we can add that one here because we are just that one falls at the, at the regular because we are just adding s we cannot say desk case. That is very wrong, okay? That is why we say desk, desks, desks. Okay, another example, somebody, joy. Wash? Mm -hmm. Is that a noun? Is that word a noun? A noun is a naming word. Is wash a naming word? Somebody is wash a naming word? Is wash a naming word? No. It is not. What is it? Somebody. You have forgotten? Yeah, because a verb is a doing word. So wash is whatever you are doing, okay? So that one is not a naming word. Somebody? Dress. Yeah, we have dress. Dress. Dresses. And here we should add also one ending with S S. Do you see that? Potato. Potato. And so on. Or you had, you had more examples. Uh huh. Eh? Orange, oranges. But that one we are adding just S. Is it supposed to be there? Uh huh. It is supposed to be where? Yeah. Somebody else? Someone? Any other examples? So we continue. Should we go on? Yes. Uh -huh. The other example, uh, the other type of nouns under irregular is the nouns that end with Y. So what do we do with nouns that end with Y? I know you have a clue about that. Let me wrap here. What do you do to nouns that end with? do we do to nouns that end with Y? Uh -huh. Clap for her. A nice one, a better one, and a sweet one. Congratulations. And I and and then and e and what es e -S. who will start for us with an example dropping the y adding the uh-huh baby. baby what is the proof of the word baby babies baby babies, babies. uh-huh hmm? play Play for okay. What is play? Is it a naming word? 
play. Play, that one is action, whatever you're doing. So it is a verb. That one is not a noun. We are talking about nouns. Aha. Uh -huh. Buy. Buy. Is that a naming word? Surely? Is it a naming word? Try. Try, is it a naming word? Is that a naming word? Live. Uh -huh. You people are so blank. Huh? Good. Clap for her. I'm a nice one. A better one. And a sweet one. Congratulations. We are dropping the Y and then we add I, then E. Yes. S. In place of Y, we add I and then E. Yes. Yes. And now you people are talking about play. Someone is telling me about dry. All those are doing ones. Those are verbs. We will come to that. Okay. We are talking about naming. Naming words. Yeah. Any other examples you have? Somebody. Mm -hmm. What is the fear of the word family? Family, families. We have Rory. So the other one, you will look for them by yourself. That is your homework. You will go and look for the ones that end with Y, and then you write the plural. And I mean the naming ones, nouns, not verbs, not the doing one. Okay. So the rest you will go and find for yourself. Then the next one, we are learning about. The others that uh, the ones that end with F. What do we do to the ones that end Ch with F? Ch one minute, Bahati, wait. This one is Roman three. <laughs> Mm -hmm. In 
chef, we don't add V E S. We just add S. That one is chef, chefs. Shelf, chef. Shelf. Shelf. Examples for you. Do you see? Uh, we drop the. We are dropping the F. Knife, and then we add V E S. In life, we add V E S. But not all. Not all. We will learn about them. Uh huh. The next one is. We are about to finish. We are in the last one. So, there are other words that we don't add V-E-S, we don't add E-S, we don't add S, and we don't add what? I-E-S. We have like now sheep. The period of the word sheep is? Sheep. The sheep? Sheep. Yeah, clap for her. And I swear, I was about to be So, the other one, uh, we don't have the plural of the word sheep. So, it is sheep, sheep. Tooth, tooth, teeth. So, do you see those ones we are not adding, we are doing neither of whatever we have talked here. We have not add S, we are not adding ES, and we are not adding IES or VES. Isn't it? Uh, where should I wrap? Where do, they, where do you think I should wrap? So, and others, we change the spellings. As I told you earlier when we were starting this lesson, there were other names that we changed the spelling. Like now we have oxen. What is, oh, I gave you the answer. What is the singular of the word oxen? Ox, an ox. Let me use my book. Some pronouns change their spelling. Man, we have 
put what is this what is the plural of the word man men man
have identified the nouns, we have identified they are, they are regular. So, what is the plural of that question? Mm -hmm. Can you be audible? Be audible, please. Good. The girl. Wow. We are changing this to wow. Why? Because we are talking about plural. Isn't it? The girl wow. Punish. Correct. The next sentence. Articles, you have forgotten. 
Uh -huh. What do we do? You are? Uh -huh. From the box. Uh -huh. Can you repeat it? Clap for Natasha. Boys took the books from the boxes. You don't put there where there is no there. Do you understand? Why are you saying the boys took the, took the books? No, even this one is very wrong. Why use there? It is the uh, it is boys took books from the boxes. We drop that article. If it is an and we want to use, we say like an animal, we don't use the word an animals or the animals. We are not given there. We use there when we are given. Okay? When it is given on that sentence. Do you understand? Are we okay? Yes. So it is boys took books from the boxes. Okay? Yes. Are we together up to that point? The next, the next my sisters. Aha, uh -huh, Natasha. Our sister Good. Clap for her. A nice one. A better one. But 
does not bring this. Okay? So our sisters bought loaves of bread. So you be very careful. When you are given a sentence, you be careful. You first of all identify the nouns in that sentence so that you may know what kind of uh, noun is it. Is it irregular? Is it regular? Okay? So that you may change it to plural. It becomes easier that way. You first of all do what? Identify the nouns. You do what? That one makes it easier for you to know whether the noun is regular or irregular. irregular. So that you may add S where it is supposed to be added and ES where it is supposed to be added. Are we together? Yes. Are we okay? Yes. Who has not understood anything in that class? Somebody. I will explain. I will explain. Anybody? Irregular, regular? Are we okay? Completely okay. Why are you silent? Why are you so quiet? Bahati, have you gotten something? Yeah? Okay, so let us clap for ourselves. A fat story five. Give ourselves a fat story five. Mm -hmm. How does it go?